that. It's a strange green object floating in the sky. It must be aliens. Oh yes, it is green, but it really isn't an object floating in the sky. This phenomenon is called an aurora borealis, also known as the Northern Lights. How are these mysterious Northern Lights formed? First, the sun's ions, which are charged particles, stream from the sun's surface repeatedly, called the solar wind. When the solar wind reaches Earth, it makes touch with Earth's magnetic field first. As the magnetic field is strong, it deflects these ions, causing the ions to move around Earth. Once the ions find places around the poles of Earth where the magnetic field is the weakest, these ions in the solar wind collide with the oxygen and nitrogen atoms from the Earth's atmosphere. This energy makes a greenish glow around the poles of Earth. Since we are at the North Pole, we see the greenish northern lights from the result called the aurora borealis. However, if we were at the South Pole, we would see another form of unique and colorful lights called the aurora australis. Can these northern or southern lights occur during the day? Yes, of course. There are no certain or specific times where these lights can occur. This process of the solar wind colliding with the atoms and the atmosphere is continuous. However, these lights cannot be visible to us during the day, as the sky is too bright and hides these lights. Instead, these lights appear perfectly during the night. You can see the science behind creating a magnetic field yourself. Gather wool, iron, glass, nickel, rubber, cork, cardboard, and a bar magnet. Move the bar magnet near each of these materials at a time and see if the magnet attracts the material, repels it, or does nothing. If it attracts or repels the material, congratulations, you've created a magnetic field. So next time you get a chance to see these amazing lights in the sky, think about how it formed through an incredible process.